in Africa are living on this kind of water. They have a five gallon bucket of water that they have to walk over three miles to carry back to their village. Um, I want you to experience a little bit of what their lives are like. These are the girls carrying this. We have a team. It might be one girl. When you get your bucket, I would like you to decide how you're going to get your bucket down to the sidewalk. And go ahead and step down to the sidewalk. You're in your group that I gave you. And your, your goal is to have the most water when you arrive back at the middle school. definitely have a winner. Which group is the winner? Kasten. Okay. All so I, there you go. Crippled team. The crippled team. Thank you, Crip. Lara. There. But you guys carried this water about a quarter mile. It was Good. hard, wasn't it, when you were carrying? It was difficult. These girls are carrying alone upwards of three miles. So 12 times the distance you carried it today. So it was a big deal. So I want you to realize how hard of a time it is for some families to get water that they need to drink. We don't live in this situation in the United States, but we're going to learn about some of the issues that we face here in America with our